Sargassum seaweed is a growing problem in the Caribbean regions. Recently, a last tech sales manager of our floating barriers division, Dwayne Benish, visited the Dominican Republic to see firsthand the problems that Sargassum seaweed is causing. I talked to Dwayne about the Elastec Beach Bouncer Boom and how it can solve the problem of sargassum seaweed. Well, yeah, as you mentioned, um, it really started getting, I mean, this, is, this has happened through, uh, throughout the Caribbean at different resorts where this sargassum algae seagrass floats up onto the beach and, and dies and smells and needs to be removed. Well, since 2011, what used to be a, a small invasion of, of this seagrass a couple days of the year during two to three months is now an everyday occurrence since about 2011 and has gotten steadily worse uh, all the way up to 2015. And uh, we're, we're receiving lots and lots of calls. How do we stop this from invading our beach? And this is causing a lot of problems. A lot of the problems that they're having down there, there's, you know, it's a, that's a big tourist area part of the world. So there's a lot of resorts down there. And it's, it's getting to the point now where all this sargassum seaweed is coming up on the shores. Like you mentioned, it smells, it's, it's not pretty, and it's costing businesses a lot of money. Well, it is. And the resorts are working uh, out on these beaches to remove the seagrass. And it used to be uh, they'd send a few guys out, and they would, they would have these pitchforks, and they'd just pitchfork it off the beach and container and haul it off. Well, now it's almost every resort that I personally witnessed. They had a couple of dump trucks and either a backhoe or a few backhoes and, and front end loaders working on this from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. When the customers got up at the resort, they could go out and have a beach that didn't have mounds of you know, three-foot or four-foot high seaweed on the beach. Okay, so that's that's a huge drain of human resources. That also becomes an expensive endeavor to try to clean all that stuff up. What you need to do is just we need to figure out a way to keep it from hitting the shore. So what's the solution here that we can offer to keep the sargassum seaweed out in the ocean and stop affecting these shorelines? Uh, exactly, Brian, and, and it's, a, it's a huge fuel cost, it's a labor cost, uh, canceled hotel reservations. The uh, solution is not to clean it up off the beach. The solution is to keep this moving. Usually there's a, there's a channel or a flow that would keep this sargassum moving instead of coming into these crescent-shaped beaches and depositing on the beach. So if we can keep it out there, and we've got a new product called the Beach Bouncer, which is a floating containment barrier, and it's just going to keep this seagrass moving. So as long as that seagrass keeps moving down the ocean line and down this boom, the shorelines are clean, problem solved. Problem solved. We've talked to people at these resorts, and the seagrass will come in. Uh, when that happens, the problem's already done. It's sitting there. It's dying on the beach. You know, they can't wait for this to go back out with the tide, but keeping it out there, even if it would mount up on our beach bouncer barrier with the tide, it's just going to continue to, to move on and, and, and deposit down shore somewhere away from the resort. You don't have the smell. You don't have the cleanup, and your guests are much happier not having to swim in seaweed. Dwayne, thanks for talking to us. Hey, thank you, Brian. For more information on the Elastec Beach Bouncer Boom, visit our website at elastec.com or call the number below and ask for Dwayne Benish. Elastec, keeping our world clean.